Hello everyone, today we got a special King of Coliseum 2 tournament. We got the UWF All-Star Tournament. And here we got many people in this tournament. But first things first, let's listen to some of our guys that are going to watch it with us. We got Pony. We got Rasta. In the mic. We got Zach George 98 Hi, Dale. Yo, los corner guys, Mas. How's everybody doing? My gosh, that's a. Hun I hate to see you in a like a pistol duel, like a cowboy. Twenty minutes past. Oh yeah, I'll shoot you now. <laughs> and then a pony. He, I, he was here. I guess he just doesn't want to talk yet. My phone. All right. Well, with this tournament, we have everything under UWF rules. Ah! At the Differ Ariake, because that's where the U style promotion would visit a lot of the time, besides Korokin. And yes. overall, we're going to have a good time. Got UWF rule matches, UWF alumni, all to see who truly is the greatest in UWF. No. Un unlike the rest of these dudes, me, I actually enjoy shoot style wrestling. Fuck this microphone. Oh, that ain't good, then. Anyway, my introduction was just simply a fuck you. Well, coming in the ring right now, the uh, ace and founder of the UWFI, the third incarnation of UWF, Nobuhiko Takada. That is also true. It was the last one. After UWFI closed, he would be part of Pride in the very first main event against Hicks and Gracie. That didn't turn out well. Got, but he of course became a general. Got, basically got legally murdered by Hicks and Gracie. Yeah. That He's, destroyed his psyche. That destroyed his psyche him. so much he became a general of a terrorist organization. Oh uh, yeah, with hustle. Are you talk? Are you talking about his uh, his his generalissimo Takata gimmick? Yep. Yes. Now next up coming in. One of the stars of the first two incan incarnations of UWF, Yoshiaki Fujiwara. After the second one closed, he would actually create his own style promotion called Fujiwara, Fujiwara Gumi. But, Pro Wrestling Fujiwara Gumi. But unfortunately, some of his stars would leave first with uh, Masakatsu Funaki and Minoru Suzuki to create Pancrase. While the rest would later on leave and create battle arts. And Fujiwara just kind of became freelance for the rest of his career. My two favorite also, shoot Fujiwara is old. My two favorite shoot style promotions are PWFG and Pancrase. Oh, that's going to be good then. Now, for this match, who do you think will win this? Takata. Yoshiaki Fujiwara. Who do you got, Rasta? Well, while well, Rasta thinks. Wait, we're doing tournament? Wait, what? Yeah, we're doing a tournament. Who do you think will win this one? Fujiwara or Takada? Fujiwara. Alright, I'm gonna go with Takada. Because, like, he's got the youth on his side, he's got the MMA record on his side. Fujiwara does not have an MMA record. I'm pretty sure fucking Luke Fez has use on his side against Fujiwara. That, uh, that's right, another thing uh, with that UWFI, Takada would actually get Luthez as like a hype man. But of course the New Japan partnership made Luthez not want to do anything anymore. So basically down there we got a 15 point system. But every time you get a down or lose a point like Rope Escape, you lose three points. So technically it's like five. But, you know, like field goals in American football. And there are many ways. Like right here. Not even a one count. That tells you something. That that probably should not have been made a down. But according to the rules, that's a down. I would normally interrupt you or try to interrupt you, but yeah, 
people need to know what MMA is because I don't think anyone in the audience knows what it is. And Fujiwara loses another point because of rope escape. That's right, Rasta. Rasta said in no mic chat, boobs. Boobs are indeed a thing. In fact, I think Takada technically counts as a boob considering some of his business acumen. But Fujiwara is... Oh. Holy oh, shit! But not an... Oh! Oh! oh. Takada knocked him out. Yes. I return. <laughs> Rasta, you missed it. Takata killed a man on live television. Oh, oh well, um, dang it. Oh, and also, there's a 15 minute time limit in the matches. After that, it goes to a judge decision, if I recall, or based on points. Uh, Proud was oh, yeah. actually more into it than I thought they would. Either oh, yeah, way, to. Anyway, we saw your ceiling. All right, so next. Now we know you don't live in... Uh, all right. Nice. China. Oh, nice, yeah. ceiling. nice ceiling there, my guy. All right, our next match is going to be a more interesting one. Oh, yeah. God. The production, the production people are telling oh, me to calm down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't help that one of our sponsors is literally an antidepressant. Wait. Wait. Sponsors? What the hell sponsor are you talking about? Uh, Zoloft. Yeah, I mean, they don't exist anymore, but for some reason they still sponsor us. That shit doesn't work. Yeah, well, their money works. So next up here, Grand Hamada, part of the first incarnation of UWF, when he left New Japan. He was one of the pioneer junior heavyweights in the 70s and 80s, but he just went wherever the wind blew, and one of those was to join the UWF for a short cup of coffee. And JM is here. Welcome, JM. Welcome to the king of UWF tournament. He's probably setting his mic up still. Now, this is another guy. He was part of the third, the UWFI, right after SWS closed and was with them for a while before leaving for them freelance for like Battle Arts and Nishinoku Pro. There's a bunch of audio feedback there, uh, JM. Uh, hey, guys. There we you go. Guys hear me? Welcome. <laughs> there we go. We got it fixed. You're here. We just missed the first match yeah, of I our need, tournament. Yeah. Yeah, I needed, I needed to wait for uh, my stuff to finish. Okay, so make it sure. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. So, Wrestle Angels Universe is done. Uh, I'm free now. All right. We just missed the uh, first match. Uh, Nobuhiko Takada knocked out Yoshiaki Fujiwara. Now we're on match two. you old man. Yeah. He was an old man, even in elementary school. He's, which is pretty sad, to be honest with you. Tana! Yeah. Now, who do you guys think will win this one, uh, Sano or Hamada? Uh, Hamada has no UWF, no UWF moves. He has no chance. What about Grand Hamada? And I said Hamada doesn't have um, shoot oh. moves. Well, he was part of the, the. Then again, first incarnation. Might as well add him. But you got a point there. Sano is the more fi heavy favored. Anyone else? Which version of Sano is this? The UWF version? Uh, the closest one to his UWF version. Still the Noah move set. So, okay, so JM is Sano. What does everyone else say? Sano. Hamada. Right, Pony's going Hamada. I'd be shocked if Hamada won. If. If. If, um, if Hamada wins this match, the production. The production people in the back will will buy you a steak dinner. And we are not talking Foka to Chow, unfortunately. We're talking Timber Lodge. The you white people's stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, here we go. Need to get no store bought cow. I can go to my local farm and punch one to death. Well, well, good luck with spirit. That. Either way, a couple slams, a couple kicks. 
But yeah, JM, would you like to announce some of the wrestling the rules in a UWF match, or should we let the audience figure it out on their own? Well, this game, the, the, unfortunately, KOC2 does not follow the, uh, the UWF rules to completion because there's no closed fists in UWF. It's only open hand strikes. Hmm. Kicks, slams, no wrestling move in existence ever. <laughs> Just shoot wrestling. Oh, that ain't going to last a while. Then again, with that, you might see a bit of a balance where, say, brawlers will do just as well. But I know one type yeah, of wrestler who won't do well in this, and you know what type that is? Uh, what? High flyers. Yeah. Because the thing is, is right, is that um, in Fire Pro, unless, World, that, in unless, that, community... unless that junior is Master, Hit, Master Hito Kakehua. You All right, got so... a point there. All right, so in the mod in the modding community, uh, of course, right? Yeah. Um, View made a mod on the, the more match types mod, and you can actually do a proper um, Pancrase UWFI match, and it even puts what moves are you cannot use and what moves will instantly DQ the match. Huh. Oh, we'll see more into that, but not even a rope break there. Hamada did not want to lose a point that quickly to Asano. Yeah. West hold. So yeah. But even but even then, you feel the power that can win me to yeah. sure. But even though the KOC two doesn't follow those rules, it's still you know, you can still it's fun to mess around with it. You, you know, you just have a wrestling match in the UWF rule set. All right. Not mean, being fully wild. enforced. Another thing I was gonna say, like. If they still have the same points after the 15-minute time limit, that just goes straight down to judge decision, correct? Yeah. No, yeah. Well, hopefully someone loses a point soon. But, oh, we got it down. Sano down. lost a point. The count. And they got five minutes left in the match. Yeah, I mean, he didn't even do a count. Well, you don't have knockdown right uh, set up. Yeah, I got that set up, I believe. The, 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 the one, I saw the one come up, but he popped right back up. Sano needs to do more than just these submission holds, because he's not yeah. going into them. How many rounds is this? One round? I believe it's just the one round 15 minute. Uh, Sano has oh, three no, minutes this match is to not make this match is not go in the end. No, it look, it's going to go down to who has the most points at the end, and Hamada will have the point advantage. You got two minutes left. Can ha <laughs> you can't pin in this match, you idiot. <laughs> Don't tell him that. He doesn't know yet. The only way you can hey, do that is if he, if he said it for free. The rules hey, hey, free. Jay, Jay, I'm hey, Jay, I'm leaving Graham Hamada alone. He's getting old, okay? Yeah, he's got a, Oh, we got it down. Two, three. Uh-oh. Now, one of them in the next we might 30 be seconds, this match. I think we are going to have to get a sudden death here, or a judge decision. Let's see what happens. By judge's decision, Sano sneaks it. <laughs> he sneaked it. I, I can see some people in the audience being upset at the judge's decision, but unfortunately, they're fans, not judges. Let's take a look at our judges. Uh, Rudy Sano... Debbie Sano. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's right. But uh, two, uh, two his of the fucking three... family are in the judges. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. This fight judging? Wow, and it what got less of a res uh, people hated this much more than Takada killing Fujiwara by two percent. What, what is this? Uh, what, what, what the hell? What, what, is, what is this? The UFC? Oh God, Vader about to die. Oh, oh I... now here is a match that's making everyone salivate. Vader and Minoru Suzuki. And as we all know, Wait Vader... a minute. Wait a minute. Minoru Vader... Suzuki never fought for the UWF. He was in the second incarnation. You sure? Yep, I he, checked. He, he was he was in UWF, uh, what was it, Reborn or Newborn? Uh, Reborn, I'll call it. <laughs> But Vader, he was in the third one, in fact, was one of only two people to hold their only championship. The other one being Nobuhiko Takada. What the hell? Vader was a champion in, sh in shoot wrestling? 
Well, I mean, he was a stiff wrestler. Might as well give him some ac credentials for that, right? Adam, he's my department of food. And just look at him coming out to the ring where the signs in the stadium say enjoy, exclamation point. Well, now, Rasta, in like... a scale of 1 to 10, how much would you enjoy seeing Vader win this match? I would enjoy an 8 plus 8. <laughs> because it's Vader time, baby. <laughs> Way better than Adam Cole, baby. What does this have? What is what does this have to do with Adam Cole? Well, Adam I Cole mean, sucks. What, that's who the third judge was. Adam Cole, actually. Commentary He's right in between now. Debbie Sano and Rudy Sano. <laughs> right. But with this, he just, he just holds a sign instead of saying a score. Just says "baby" on it. Yep. <laughs> and and we now... just assume it's for Hamada. We... Hey, did anybody ever get a picture of KG Muro's face when he was a judge in AEW for a title match? I don't think so. We'll have to check that out. But with Minoru Suzuki, he was part of the second incan carna incarnation of UWF before joining Fujiwara for Fujiwara Gumi. What did he do after that, JM? And he formed Pancreas. That's right. And then what did he do after that? Went back and to pro wrestling. Went back to pro wrestling years later because of all the injuries. Oh yeah. Oh, I think. And Rasta that, no, found and that and the, Oh my that gosh. And <laughs> that and the comp and that and the competition became too great for him. I'm sorry, but this picture Rasta sent. This looks like one of those cursed images on like Live Leak or something. This guy that in behind him, there's what basically looks like an OSHA violation, but it's a wrestling match. Wow. <laughs> That's beautiful. Wow. Thanks, Rasta. Anyway, because Vader's part of my stable, I pick him to win. <laughs> All right, so how am I not? How am I not surprised? What yeah. is this? The what is this? The Heaton family of the dis of the of the Pirosu pantry? Yeah, it's called the Pony yes. Dynasty. You're, you're the no, you're the Heaton in 30, this. No, we are the thirty million powers. You're out, you're out here <laughs> calling people ham. You're out here calling people ham and eggers. It's got thirty million members. That's what I learned. You'd rather go you'd rather go chase people in skirts. Oh my gosh. Oh god. One oh my punch. god. <laughs> One punch. Fuck you. Vader oh, just god, did his Mike star. Tyson punch out information. Now, <laughs> now, we know, now, now, we, now, now we know that's like Thomas half American. <laughs> you, uh, you, uh, god dang and, uh, it, Rasta, that was too good. Now of course. And, and to make matters worse. There are fans chanting World Star. They don't know what it means, but they're chanting World Star. <laughs> it's okay. I do that too. I don't know what World Star means, but I just love saying it. No. Oh, no, because you do you remember the hip hop fight knockouts that they would yeah. do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Vader. Damn, damn, damn it, boys. I, I, miss a, I miss the World Star hip hop fight comp in a month. Oh my they're gosh. still up on YouTube. <laughs> Holy crap, but, I don't believe it. But they're not. Once World Star went out of once World Star went out of business, um they had to they literally just had to coin up a new term saying, Oh, there goes something, but it, it never had as much hype as World Star. Oh yeah, World Star, it just rolls off the tongue easier. But my gosh. Minoru Suzuki, it, it, it's like he has a concussion right after that punch because he is not doing as well as he should in this fight. Actually, he is. Vader did to him, Vader did to him what he did to Ken Shamrock. Hey, boys. Oh. <laughs> hey, boys. You, 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 know you're in, you know you're in the hope when a fight starts and somebody else world star. You know someone's going to die when someone says world star. Oh, because of rope break. Oh, shit! Holy crap. And he tries to pit... Oh, oh my god. god! He got knocked out <laughs> by a pin. <laughs> no, he got knocked out by the reverse power slam, but I guess that Suzuki was. Suzuki did not expect that he walked into the match. He walked into the match that he oh, no, was actually worse. Well, actually, yeah, was not a pin. He just got knocked not, out. That is not a critical because there. Cause what happens is in the U in the U in the UWF rules, if you take a certain amount of damage, you will be KO'd without being crit. That's just impressive. The reverse power bomb. He goes for a pin, kicks out, knockout. But ladies and gentlemen, Vader, 
Uh, each match is getting 2% less. Uh, but Suzuki barely put up a fight as he walked right into that hook and it was just over yeah. for him. Yeah, that that hook basically oh, no. caused right. that oh, really? Yo, this is cruelty to the elderly. Oh, Are we really sure about this? Yeah, we have to because Kimura was in the first form of UWF was there Wait. for a good chunk of time and then he left for all Japan. If only we had the UWF versions of certain guys. Oh, wait a second. This is not UWF. This is the one that does the tummy slaps. <coughs> yeah. And then I'm saying I wish we had camera. the UWF version, versions of certain people. Oh, definitely. Pretty sure a lot of them are on Fire Pro. But coming back from the all Japan... All Star Tournament, where he made sure that Taiokea fought to win that match. Coming back from Oppo Oppo World. That's right, that anime. It's Rusher Kimura, part of the first form of. You need to see that movie. Sorry, what? You need to see that movie. Freaking um, Rusher Kimura fighting to the death in the in the final parts of the movie. Hey, but, because but these wrestlers were trying to kill him. I think Kamau and Tamu is going to be a tough one because both of them were main eventers. Oh uh, yeah, one IWE, well, Tamara. Tamara was UWFI, but he left for rings, became one of the top stars in rings. Then Akira got lazy and let the promotion die off. Went to various MMA promotions like Pride, but on the side... He ran a UWF light promotion like U Style, which is in this game, but it's called U File Camp and all that. And so he's we... the only person in it. Yeah, unless you add people to it, like I do. Well, who did you add? I added Yuki Ishikawa and Alexander Asuka. Tamura! 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 Tamu. What? What? What's wrong? I love how they added U-File Camp and didn't add the rest of the U-File roster. Well, uh, most of them were freelance anyway. Or, when, yeah. when I when I saw when I, when I saw a K and a T, I I thought you had I thought you had TK, but but then I read the name and got sad. TK. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh. I no, so we need to do actually. a Rasta karaoke one of these days. No, <laughs> no, we're not like that. <laughs> and, and of course, you, yeah. you know, you know who I mean when when I simply say TK, don't you? Tony Khan. No, no, Hiroshi Kosaka. Oh, him, him, and Kip. Him and uh, Tamara had a lot of great matches and rings and you style. But for this one, I think we're all una unanimous. Tamara wins, right? Yep. Yeah. I, 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 because I, I, all Kimo can do is the tummy slaps. All right. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, queers. I saw a thing earlier, right, with Okan's adventures in Las Vegas. Yeah, I saw a picture of him with like two strippers or hookers. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Hands this, on man was at the, this man was at the heart attack grill. Damn. Oh my gosh. Damn. The, Is that going to be the, the video... new, like, when a puro wrestler goes to America, they got to go there now? Like how Okada had everyone go to In N Out Burger? No. What I found funny was when Godo, he looks at that, the first picture with the strippers in him, and he's like so vulgar. <laughs> he hates this man. <laughs> I, would, I don't doubt him. He got mad because Goto's like, Goto's like, what's wrong, Goto? Are you sad? You want a pancake? Mister, <laughs> 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 do you want a pancake, bro? He said, what are you doing? Are you grabbing like an air mask or something there? No, my mic keeps on dying on me. Oh, I, I think that is a sabotage from Batting Hat backstage or something. Are you using your goddamn walkie-talkie? I think no, he was using my... a walkie-talkie. No, oh, I still have my normal headphones. Okay, there we go. Now it sounds good. That was just weird how that works. But I I'm gotta... just going to say this. If if Kimo, if Russia Kimo beats Tamua, it's going to be like that one time where we all thought that Majin Buu would kill Kirby in Death Battle, but Kirby actually won. Oh, I mean, no one could beat Kirby in Death Battle. Well, no one man. could beat Kirby in general. 
Have you seen the eight hours of Kirby lore videos out there? Well, maybe with the exception of the of this of Flash, Reverse Flash, and Wally West, and Sonic Archie. Uh. Oh, Come on, Samora! Do not point the thirty million powers. Yeah, I well, think he's thirty million powers. Yeah, beat up by an old, by a beaten up by an old, by an old man. Oh my gosh! Just a punch in the face. Oh god. So far, four is the highest number we got so far. Kimura is just confused. He thinks this is an IWE match, I think. He's having an Alzheimer's attack. Yeah, let's not joke about Alzheimer's. Yeah, you got a point there. Yeah, let's not. That, yeah, that that's was a, a bad joke on my that part. That was I an incredible Oh, another punch. Two, three, four. You could have just, just said he's having a crisis. There we go, midlife crisis. He he somehow thinks he's fighting Mighty Inoue in 1974. Oh, uh, speaking of that, you want to know who Enterine's next project is? Uh, of course. Who's that going to be? The Black. You remember the Black Hearts in all Japan? Not off the top of my head. Yeah, that's I think who's moves that moves he's going to do next. Uh, the Black Hearts from the Black Hearts. All right. Yeah, tomorrow my We might get our first KO. Like proper point KO. Wait, this right. is going. Yeah, I believe so, because if Kimura gets a down one more time, it's all over. Oh, he kicked him in the dick, it's over. Late kick K wait, he late kicked TKO. Hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, Tamara. You know what you know what's funny? We got a late kick boy. you got a late kick TKO here, but you'll never get in in a UFC game because it barely happens. Dick K O. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> like more guys have advanced. And that's the best match of the ma the tournament so far. A 74% for Tamara. Bullying an old man. We all know what the UWF audience loves now. Well, yeah, I guess the Mac match recommendations for you for the best of Super Juniors today. For today's show. Oh, sure. All right. All right I, one, I recommend that you check out the main event. Robbie Eagles versus El Phantasmo. That is, uh, for so far, that is the match for the tournament so far. Oh, goddamn. Uh, it would make Jug lose his mind. Um, I recommend, um, let's see, Doki, Doki versus TJP. Yo. I, I recommend, um, Bushi versus El Desperado. Of course you do. It's a Destiny match. Yeah, no, and it was actually a pretty good match, too. Ah, uh, there we go. My third of the four guys. Oh, and right. also, uh, of course, uh, Sho has a new weapon. Oh, boy. I bet that it's like an Allen wrench or something. Or... No, 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 no. He has a, he, he, he has a metal boot. Oh, boy. <laughs> he, actually rigs a, he actually rigged a boot. All right, now this is, uh, I'm sorry, we have to unfortunately talk about this match because one of the people in this is Yoji oh, Anjo. No. Oh, God, no. But, but let's just ignore Yoji Anjo for a second, talk about Dan Severn. He was in UWFI for a little brief a moment in time. I believe Did he the job, also, it's got it. I believe he was also NWA World Heavyweight Champion while doing it. Okay, now we have to go to this guy. This was another staple in, I believe, the second and third forms of UWF. Yo ah, Jumanjo. this is the guy that got his butt beat by Gracie. Oh, I mean, yeah, he was also beaten up by Gracie. He has a terrible MMA record. He was freelance for a lot of promotions in the 2000s, such as Hustle, All Japan Pro Wrestling, World Japan. He just is a guy who's just there, and the only thing that he is has that's memorable was his theme song. Because it literally says James Brown is dead. Back at a time when he was alive. Dead. <laughs> that did not age well. Oh yeah. Oh, good song, though. oh, oh yeah, it's a good dance club song. Oh by Oh by the way, I have a cr I have a crazy bit of celebrity news for y'all. Oh, is it Ray really Yoda? Ray Liotta was found dead in his home today. Yeah, do you think it could have been a heart attack? Uh, I, I, I don't know if, if, if a ca cause of death is, 
cause of death has been released yet. Okay. Well, oh, do you guys I guess know we can talk about our favorite moments from his career. I think his best movie ever was Goodfellas. Same. Anyone else my, got a comment to say for Ray Liotta? Well, my, a lot of his stuff is before my time. I have never heard of him. Like, like your time was the time he was had a cameo in the B movie. Yeah, right. Remember... All right. I think we're all unanimous. Dan Severin, right? Yep. Yes. He has the. He's the most experienced in MMA. Winning I've never seen that in the UWF. <laughs> Well, then again, you never see Yoji Anjo have a good match in the UWF. <laughs> I, put, I would put it here like this. Dan Severn's record... In this, in, this game, in this game, since he's Japanese, they're kind of biased. Oh, uh, yeah. Dan, Dan Severn's record is 101 wins, 19 losses, and 7 draws. That's a very good MMA record. Unfortunately, some of his early mat like fights some of them weren't that good like the uh, Detroit one against Ken Shamrock where they just circled around for 30 minutes and then of course oh yeah Yoji lost the point there to Shaka no one and yeah, then nobody, there is yeah, nobody, like, nobody yeah people hated that fight then there is the pride one fight against Kima where they just walked around in circles for 30 minutes and not even the English commentary could make positive outlook on it. They were talking about anything except the fight. It was that bad. How do Kimo and Dan Sever not do anything? I think it was just down to they didn't want to have a fight and they were forced to. Which is funny because the fight we set up for them in the matchmaker mode was the only good fight in that World Japan show. I guess it, Kimo. I guess he. I guess he. I guess what Dan Sever didn't want the wrath of Kimo. Jesus, the Apollo. And wow, he heard Yoji. about. The, he heard that the. He heard the wrath of God was coming, and he didn't want any other part of it. Yeah, he's got a point there. Both Yoji and Dan lost points for rope escape, so this is starting to look more competitive. Oh Yoji and Joe might actually make a good fight. Who to think? Do you think we could get over a seventy percent with this? Maybe. Maybe we'll have to see how uh, this goes here. All right, while we're doing that, let's just ask everyone right now, yellow ring ropes, yay or nay? I like yellow ring. Yeah, it's they don't okay. look that. Look yeah. fine. Yellow ring ropes can work, and Jesus Christ. He was just going into him like Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star. <laughs> oh, yeah, that too. Omairu, Dan Severundu, Nani... Punch, 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 punch. Yeah, da, 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 da. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh! While Yoji, while Yoji got Angel down. Oh no. Oh no. The NWA champion! Oh no. You got a tie right now, and it might go to Judge's decision. It might go to Yoji Angel, despite the fact that dude sucks. Yeah. Well, it's that, reput it's that reputation what saves him in video games and stuff. Oh, that has to be a down. He's got a point. Dan Severn's got his hat. He wins by knockout. Ah! in suplex. Oh, yeah. I also got Gary Albright in the stable. I'll be right back. Uh, he's just hyping him up. But unfortunately, Gary Albright's got a bit to go. He has... Also, a... also, also remind the, the people, Yoji, even though Yoji Anto saved himself in Hustle, it's Hustle. Oh, yeah. And... You can... You can legit put trash in there, and it'll be entertaining. Percent. That's what Hustle does. The Hustle is basically an easy way out. Boy, boys, that is the match of the tournament so far. Boys, we got 80% on a shoot-style match. We done good. We done made it. Yeah, who'd have thought Yoji Anjo being murdered is what the fans want to see. Now, this is going to be an interesting one. And I managed to get both the UWF versions for both of these wrestlers, so it's going to be good. With uh, Kazuo and uh, Masahiro Kagiara? Yep. Well, here we go. Yamazaki coming out to the ring. I believe he was in all three versions of UWF. But during the third one, he just gave up on Takata being the star who refused to let anyone else get spotlight and just joined New Japan. 
he had a lot of great matches in New Japan. Like, I believe he was also a former tag team champion, correct me if I'm wrong. And that G1 Climax Finals in 1998 against Shinya Hashimoto is a must-see match. And is also been, a his, like, historically, one of the most prominent commentators in New Japan's history. But Kakihara... Yep, this is his UWF theme. Was oh, he... oh, you guys want to know what Ricky Stark said to some fan uh, before the commercial? When the before the dynamite cut the commercial yesterday? Oh, sure. What did he say? Okay, so some fan said you missed that that stomp. You missed him. Then Ricky says, "Yeah, and your daddy should have missed you when he came, you punk ass bitch." Oh, <laughs> oh, fuck it. That's a classic one. <laughs> But either way, uh, Kakihara was uh, one of the rising stars in the UWFI in the mid-card. Had several classics. Like, he was basically the workhorse in the undercard. When UWFI closed, he was part of Kingdom until going to All Japan with Takayama. Despite not winning any titles, he was heav heavily favored by Misawa. And then, of course, he went to Noah for one match, hated the match he had with Omori at the debut show, left and went back to All Japan. And then went to New Japan. Then retired and, I believe, is a cancer survivor, correct? Either way, let's get to this one. I think Yamazaki will win based on experience. <clears throat> what about you, JM? Um, hmm. I think I might go with uh, Kazuo. Uh, Yamazaki is one of my favorites to win the whole thing, but let's see what he does with Kakihara. I got, Yama I got Yamazaki. All right, Pony, Rasta, and... who do you guys got for this? They're both mute. Uh, of course, I call for them when they're away from the commentary table. They're probably going to get notches at the concession. I've got Kakihara. All right, we got Kakihara from Rasta. Pony is probably still getting notches at the concession stand. Thankfully, we're at the Differ Ariaki where there's no stairs to trip people over. And just because we made sure Osamu Kido is far away in the locker room where no one can get near him. We don't <laughs> want to have a repeat of the New Japan tournament fiasco again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, the tournament will be starting again on Saturday. Uh, key matches for Saturday is going to be TJP versus Phantasmo, Hiromu versus Alex Zane, El Lindemann versus uh, Robbie Eagles, and Desperado versus Doki. All right. The, Ricky, the Alex Zane match definitely sounds like the best one there. I almost hit Ricky Starks by accident because of that insult thing you told me he did. <laughs> Uh, you know who would be an AEW wrestler I'd like to see just have a tour in New Japan just to see what I, he would do? I hope. Max Caster. Uh, I, I don't know, man. Uh, it would... There's certain things you can't say. Oh, God. I'd like to see what crazy things he'd I say to, to remember Yujiro that, uh, Takahashi I... or someone like that. <laughs> Look, man, remember, Brand said some shit and that got him fired from Noah. Oh, he had an STO on Yamazaki, got a point. This is actually a very competitive fight. Yeah, I gotta agree with that one. So, you know, I, I think Max Caster's a bit too much of a risk. Yeah, that's a shame, though, because I like to see, like, him and Tanahashi, what they could do. But oh, what a kick to the back of the head. Yeah. You, you try a different AEW wrestler. Hmm. One that will not get himself kicked out of Japan. Well, there goes Matt Seidel. <laughs> well, Matt Seidel can't even come back to Japan. That's anyway. a joke. <laughs> His brother can, though. Uh, Lance Archer, I think, would make a good one because he's like he has history with New Japan. Ooh, what a yeah, he might. Yeah, he might be a G one spot though. Oh yeah, that'd be good. Oh wow, Kakihara's got a lot of work to keep up with. No, my Kakihara. My Kakihara can't be this week. Pony's probably no, in the he's back. Just a, oh. He's just a junior. No! 
<laughs> no! That's an Oscar-worthy performance there, I'd say. But, uh... <laughs> uh no! Please! Please don't submission my cocky hero! He's the only thing! Casual oh. tells him, Casual just told go back to New Japan. But you know, he this ain't your Japan right. too. I'll be going back there in a little while after I get this trophy. And then I'm gonna bring it with me to the commentary table. Yep. And um, then I'm gonna be like, fuck you with Noki. <laughs> <laughs> but uh <laughs> this is gonna be uh Pony's probably in the backstage talking to his stable right now in the tournament. Mm-hmm. But this match... The freaking the Heenan family. No, please. Please don't smack my baby. She's only two months. Oh, it's Lord. just a baby. It's just... Oh my gosh, that's a little <laughs> too much. But this is going to be I'm, probably I'm the gl- biggest slobber knocker of round one. I, I'm, I'm glad he muted himself, because if he didn't, I was going to. Okay. Well, uh... Alright. Well, he's always... Going to, uh, would you like to tell uh, us some fun oh, facts oh, about Akira no. Maeda? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, the, the king New of Japan New Japan. Japan. And he's, he's gonna, gonna go get the... another trophy. He's gonna get himself another trophy. We don't know. This is gonna suck. I mean, look who he's gonna fight first. This man booked himself to win, Chris. Don't worry, I'm in charge of the booking, and I just put it into a random AI generator. So the winner will be randomly generated. He has a Takeyama. 1 in 16 chance. But Takeyama, let's go through some fun facts about these two with their UWF experience, or just wrestling experience in general. JM, what was your favorite Akira Maeda moment? Uh, I don't know what he got, went into a rage when Andre was drunk. Alright, Pony, this is one of your favorites to win <laughs> since he's part of your stable and won the New Japan trophy, right? No. But he's in your stable, is he not? I have no idea who's in my stable anymore. Well, you maybe got you 30 write, million maybe you should members. get a piece of paper and open up Notepad and write it down. Yeah, this that point, requires yeah. me to go through every single little, little nook. Oh, I remember. This thing. I have a massive disdain for Akira. But you're the one who basically made sure he won the New Japan tournament. No, I want Muda to win the New Japan tournament. Yeah, no, no. Maeda ruined that plan. He ruined everybody's plan. Yes. He was like he, he was like the panda that broke into the office building and wrecked everything. He was like, what? What are you going to do about it? You know, you got a point. You can't do anything about it because it's an endangered species. And if you so much as touch it, you're dead. But Takayama was part of UWFI, went to All Japan, that was all history. Maeda was part of the first one. He got into an argument with Satoru Sayama, the original Tiger Mask, over the direction of UWF, and proceeded to kick Tiger Mask in the balls. In the middle of a match. So that's even better. That did not work out well for him, if I remember. Oh, yeah, Sayama so left and created Shudo, which is still alive today. Meanwhile, uh, my, I believe Maeda was also part for the second UWF, and when that closed, he just created Rings, which was, at the much, time, just a wrestling much, promotion, much but around 96, 95, which year was it, JM, that it became MMA? Uh, what? <clears throat> would have became M- oh, Shudo was the earliest MMA promotion. Oh no, I'm talking about Rings. It was Rings? 95 or 96 Rings? they went MMA. No, no, no. Rings didn't go MMA until way later on. Oh, okay. So we're talking about during the 2000s point. Oh, okay. It was somewhere around late 90s, early in the 2000s was when they started adapting real MMA rules. Yeah, oh my god, I mean, Maeda better but not win this one. I swear to god. I swear. Yeah, everyone was upset that he won the New Japan All-Star Tournament. They don't want him to be the king of New Japan and UWF. You hear that, Maeda? You're not a draw. You... But we still need to do a... What are you talking about? I drew, I drew a shit ton of people over for fucking ring for the first ring. I just realized Takayama lost two points so far, and we only noticed one of them. But now Takayama's just punching up Kira in the temple. Well, not anymore. All form of point loss is only gonna be like 
three. Yep, I chose it as three because like five, that would wouldn't be good. And if it was just one point, it would just be time limit draws a lot of the time. Where we go to judge decision. I thought making it like American football field goals, three points would be the best choice. Then you might as well just dot a five points with one point loss each. <laughs> I don't know, the but, 15 to the 12 makes it sound cooler. Oh no, again. No, 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 no. Stay up. Oh dear. Takayama just, oh no. No, 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 no. Stay Takayama up. Takayama is not having a good day today against Maeda. He needs to just either find a way to knock him out. Because all he can do, all he wants to do is try an Irish whip, but he can't Irish whip. Oh, the referee doesn't even count that as a down. My, my, my is coming. Oh, no. Maeda's cheating. How is that cheating? He, he just wants to lick his arm. He fought the ref! Okay, he was just trying to pin him there. That's, uh, Maeda... Uh, it's a... Takayama must have been hit silly right before the match started. Oh, that has to be the end. Maeda! <laughs> Takayama, no! <clears throat> oh no. Takayama, no! Oh arm. no! One of my, the my is it's like, fuck you, Rasa. And he's literally yelling out, fuck you, Rasa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rasa. He's just yelled, hearing at Rasa in the crowd, no giving him the finger. He said, fuck you, Maeda. And then the, there's like 50 A's afterwards, all caps locked. That's how you know he's angry. And the crowd loved that fight somehow. <laughs> they loved Maeda burying somebody. He must have had original UWF flashbacks, that's probably why. And our last match of round one. Albright's gonna win. Oh uh, yeah, probably. I'm now, picking let's... Albright, w winner by ye. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Batting Hat replies with, Why do you guys only act weird when I'm not around? We're weird even when you are around. <laughs> you got points there, but either way, um... Yo, you, want, you want to see something funny? Yeah. Look, a widow tie at a talk, on, a, on a talk show doing play, doing jump rope. The most oh. heelish faction in start and just playing doing jump rope on a talk show. That is very evil. Well, but, uh, either way, well, our next guy here... Skipping rope is a great workout, you know. Well, I did it when I was practicing, when I was training in Muay Thai years ago. <laughs> well, we got to I hated, I hated jumping rope. Yeah. All right. I mean, I could do it. I could do it. But it's, no. just, it's just a pain to do because, you know, got to keep the momentum going. No. Okay. Now, was, so was, it one of the, was it one of those ropes that made the click, 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 you know, stereotypical skipping rope sound? Yeah, yeah. Sweet. I, that, that's... I wasn't that good at it, but I was I was good enough. To me, that's that's one of the, that's one of those boxing gym sounds that's ASMR for me. All right, just a second for our little promo for these two guys. Tale of the tape. Albright was part of the UWFI before going to All Japan Pro Wrestling, passing away in 2000. But thankfully, you know, video games we can resurrect them easily. Samakito, part of the first one, and then just went back to New Japan and wrestled for New Japan for the rest of his career. Also, he was supposed to be part of the New Japan All-Star Tournament, but someone by the name of Pony pushed him down the stairs when grabbing some nachos for us at the concession stand. Pono Yaro. Aye, 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 aye. It was an elaborate plot. There's a difference. Yeah. Elaborate plot? <laughs> Why not? I actually like this uh, counter I'm seeing. Um, somebody made a new uh, counter. You know that rolling knee bar counter, of course? Um, not off the top of my head. Is that Fire Pro? Yeah, yeah. You know the inverted knee bar? It's in, it's in KOC 2 also. It's been a while. Gonna... Well, Zach, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. All right, so they counter and transition into an STF. How the, how the, yeah. hell, how the hell do you pull that off? Now here, take a look at it, and I'll, I'll post a tweet. Post it in the mic chat. I'm gonna I need am. To... 
<laughs> all right, let's make our bets. Um, I got Albright. Who do you guys got? Yeah, I got Albright. He's my fourth and final guy. I don't know. I have to pull for keto. So far, did, are you three for three so far, Pony? I got Albright. Rasta, who do you Why? Got? Because even even Albright has to watch the out voices. for the most feared the the most fe he has to watch out for the most feared kick in New Japan, the Keto Giri. All right, so it sounds like it's a three for Albright, two for Keto. Of course, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, a bit. Keto Giri. Wearing his dude, kick some dude in the head and knocked him out. I'm yeah, we're not talking about the Owen Hart in Zagiri on Shawn Michaels level. No, this wasn't oh, a in so Zagiri, it was a Keto Giri. But you get what I mean. Like how the storyline with Shawn Michaels got knocked out from Owen Hart's in Zagiri. That, that's what I was talking about for it seeing as, like, say, an example of a knockout kick. Either way, it's, uh... So far, they're just hitting each other a bit. Referee does not see it down yet. STF. A big boy STF. Oh, of course it's a big boy STF. What other types are there? Small boy. Oh, what was Osamu Kido STF? The very first one. He was there for a brief time, went back to New Japan. Him like, and you know, Maeda were IWGP Tag Team Champions. He was like, you know what? This shoot wrestling shit is boring as fuck. Let me go back to it. It's a new Japan. Yeah. Ma, okay, you, you, when you will it, that Inoki could have made more money by just feuding with Maeda, but chose not to? Well, yeah, I guess it's because Maeda is seen as too much of a backstage liability. You know, like, say, Scott Hall in WCW. Hey, Scott Hall was a decent guy. Oh, yeah, but, like, his drug abuse in the 90s made people not want to push him to be a world champion. His drug abuse, he, he abused drugs like how MC Hammer abused money up the camp. Oh, my God. The video. Wow. Yo, yo, the Public Enemies podcast, right, they made a joke. They showed this clip of Vegeta being mad, depressed, and crying. And, they, and he literally puts AEW security every every week after getting their asses beat by Wardlow for 17 no. an hour. <laughs> Oh, wow. So far, uh, Albright's got the advantage with the five minutes left in the clock. Looks at Oh, superplex. That's another point. In knockout, Albright faces Maeda. Four of four. Fuck you. Pony is really going wild for this. Fuck me. How about fuck you? Well, of course. Fuck no. you. Why would I want to see that? Uh, you usually got to pay for that action, Cotton. All right. Bruh. And that's the end of round one. Bro, JM. Huh? That, yo, that, that shit is fucking hilarious. All right, here we go. Round two, Nobuhiko Takada and Takuma Sano. Sano, <laughs> the only one to win by judge's decision. Will he do it again in round two? The quarterfinals. Probably not. Well, one way to find out. Do we have new judges or are they still Debbie Sano and Rudy Sano? And yes. We have new judges. And Adam Cole. <laughs> No, we no, we replaced Adam. You know what? No. I feel like this damn polar bear just gift hanging around on the ice. This how he, that's how I feel when I'm in when I'm indoors out of the scorching hot sun. Our judges are an old lady, a starving child, and a panda bear. Uh, and we made sure none of them are related to Sano, right? Yes. Okay. Good. I I made I made. Oh, Robin. Well, you can make it sure, but then again, you are the guy who, you know, the last tournaments and all that. You know, like the, the whole pushing us down the go down the staircase. <laughs> and then, yeah. like, sabotaging the uh, tournament so that freaking Mr. Pogo was in the finals. And then there's that other one with the 
you know, the Jama Saruta, the, like the four pillars all dying. Yo, you wanna know something funny? <laughs> yeah. Jim Cornette's favorite wrestler in AEW was Kenosuke Takashita, right? But because he hates Kenny so much, he excommunicated him when he found out he was DDT adjacent. What a fucking mark Jim Cornette is. He just acts like that freaky fanboy when it comes to video games, where it's like, Sega does what Nintendo don't. Man, Earthworm Jim is great, then he finds out Earthworm Jim's on a Super Nintendo also. This game is shit. That's what he acts like. What a fucking baby bitch. Jim Cornette, quote unquote, Piro Power. Jim Cornette is a poopy baby bitch. Am I wrong or am I wrong? No, no. How am I supposed to know? You're talking to a guy that has or that uses orphan children as raincoats. Well, at least you're not Jim Cornette. Yeah, you're right. I mean, he's a cuckold. A what? He pays men for his wife to fuck. So they could get a push in OVW back in the early 2000s. Huh. I mean, he calls it swinger, but let's let's admit it. Nobody's going to swing with him. But let's just get to hit here. Takata Sano, who do you guys got? Who do you think? You got Takata? Yes. All right. Roster, who do you got? Zach, who do you got? I abstain from picking. JM, who do you got? <clears throat> I'm going to go with a... Uh... Hmm. Ah! Fuck oh, you! No. <clears throat> I'm sorry, young back. I was washing dishes. What happened? I'm sorry. Oh, we were asking Maybe who do you think will win this match. <clears throat> It'd be funny if Takata did the J-O-B here. Oh, yeah, he's got to put that young and up, up-and-comer Takuma Sano up above everyone else. But, yeah, Roster, who do you think will win? Me. You're not in this match, motherfucker. We'll put him in as Takata. Okay. <clears throat> wow, the Ezra literally sent him all his DDT matches so he won't like him. Yeah, they might as well. Like, freaking... Jim Cornette does... Why do people still listen to him? Because he's old. Okay, okay good. You see, you saw the referee. He changed camera and changed his position because he realized what he was in originally was bad for the camera. He, he sat down so we didn't see his butt up close. Oh, that was enough of a point for Asano to lose something. <coughs> well, oh, no. Gotta do better than that. Oh, and another rope escape somehow. My gosh. It's kind of like, I own this UWF shit. Like, yeah, it's like Yugi and Yu-Gi-Oh! He just keeps cheating, but no one does a damn thing about it. It's because everybody else cheats. It's fair game. <laughs> yes, but Yugi but we will, is the but, ultimate but we cheater. Will, I summon the we Dark Magician, my... and all he draws one card, and it's just all five Exodia cards at once. That's how much freaking that Yugi cheats. That, 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 yes. He only oh, had Exodia yes. now. Way early. But you get the joke. That freaking Yugi is why like, does, dude, wait, why does Yuna have six points? He should have yeah. He should have not went over Titan. Oh, it's a 9 to 12. It's... Oh, wait, you're seeing that picture. Okay. Yeah, Yuna should, not have, Yuna should not have gone over Titan. Uh, oh, man. And Takata wins in a shock of no one. Sano has to go back to pro wrestling Noah, where he'll just be in the mid card. Forever. Who saw, who saw AEW Wednesday night? I didn't. I was too busy with Geronimo. He, me and Geronimo were working on a bunch of stuff for the channel. Like you see the new logo and the banner all set up on the channel. Question: Who, who the hell is the is the wandering samurai in the background of your logo? You know that's a me. good question. You know, yeah, it's Rasta. <laughs> Rasta's in the logo. There we go. Hey, mm. I attempted a stream like I think <laughs> yesterday or something and failed miserably. We had World Japan matches where Tadao Yasuda 
oh, and just oh, one oh, match oh, got like in the 80s. Kills. Oh, that's weird. Then again, World we did that. Japan crowd. Oh my gosh, I think we, that's right, World Japan hates wrestling. So the worse the match is, the better it is. But now here's an interesting one. One of my favorites against Vader. Question is, can Tamara do it? Who do you guys got? I don't care. Well, nobody cares that you don't care. Wait, both of these guys are your choices, right? Yes. That would explain a bit. He oh. wins. Pony wins no matter what. Pony wins regardless. I just saw the crowd reacting for that for that Universal Titan match. They were not happy. I'm sorry. What? No, 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 no. For Something about Titan. He said, he said the crowd were not happy with the Universal Titan. Well, if you actually saw AEW last night, you would have seen Wardlow throw one of the people onto the cage and down to the floor. Man, with how many people has Wardlow murdered on AEW television at this rate? And all of them work in security. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet this? this <coughs> oh, yeah. Did you guys hear about uh, WWE? It had to move money in the bank from the MGM Grand Gardner to the MGM Grand Gardner Arena because they sold less than 20k tickets. I can believe that. No, you remember their plan that they wanted to do all arena shows? Mm. All stadium shows? Good luck with that. So, they only sold 20k. They sold under 20k for money in the bank. So they're like, well, and remember the last time they had to do this was for WrestleMania 7. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, but they are again, being prepared to be sold. Like, look at what they had set up for WrestleMania 7 at that point. Sergeant Slaughter, Ultimate Warrior. Nobody wanted to see those guys in the main event. They weren't in the main event. But you get what I mean. Like, at the time... When, Ultimate like, Warrior tickets, wasn't even near the main event. It was but you like, get what I mean. Like... like, say, in the whole scheme of things, when it came to probably when the ticket offices were opening up. Oh, wow. Yeah, Warrior had Vader... the Macho Man feed. Vader once again <laughs> starts the match with a one punch takedown. That's World a, star. The, at the, this the, point, the, at, at this point, J Vader must have married a Japanese woman at some time. He must have had an affair. I'm starting to wonder about many things with Vader. Oh, wow. Tamara got two in a row on Vader. He is upset about that. Oh, my gosh. Is he going to. What's he, what was that? This, he was just spinning around his... Oh my gosh. Jesus, Vader. he went on the rampage. Kiyoshi is shooting at this point. He is not happy about that one-punch takedown. He's going to make Vader suffer. Vader must suffer. Ooh, got out of the way of that elbow drop. Oh, right in the belly. Not even five minutes left, and Te Vader's down to one takedown left in his. You mean not even five minutes in? Yeah, not even five minutes in. I thought I said you, that. Did I mess that up? You said not even five minutes left. Wow, I'm not doing good at this today. Uh, it's okay. I'm more. drinking this thing called Drano. It was given to me by a Pony, so, you know. Why are you drinking that? Put that down. Oh, but think of the alcohol content. It's like vodka. This is bad. This is bad. It burns, your th it burns the throat just like the whiskey I get. <laughs> he kicked him in the butt. Kiyoshi kicks <laughs> Rusher Kimura in the dick to win ra first round. Quarterfinals. He kicks Vader in the butt cheek and advances. Actually, actually, it, it looked like... Vader was holding like kidney side. Uh, either way, that is painful. Kidney kick, kidney punch. Man, Vader's Vader's judge be... If there was any time for a jug gift, this would have been the appropriate time. 
Yeah, Vader is going to be pissing blood after that match. Dan Severin, Kazuo Yamazaki. This is going to be a tough one. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're going you're, you're gonna to be pissing blood for about a week. Now, this is going to be one. Um, I'm going with Yamazaki in this one. Oh, I'm still going for Dan Severin. Give me, give me Dan Severin. Hey, Roster, who do you got? Let's be doing dishes again. What, but, uh, what, is, what is this song? I recognize it. It's a UWF theme itself. Oh. Oh, I know what I recognize it from. JM uses it for his berserk commercial. Oh, yeah. JM, would you like to d promote that since he mentioned it? Wait, what? Your berserk thing for your e fed. What about it? Do you want to promote it? Because your commercial for it uses the UWF theme. And, and, I, and I, was, I was trying to figure out. Figure out what, figure you know, I had some what? idiot on the fire for Reddit, but he saw the berserk. He's like, he just yells out Griffith. I'm like, no, not that berserk. Fucking Reddit, I swear. Like some not, of the dumbest shit ever on the not, internet. Like, you is look at that logo. Where, 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 do you, where do you think you where, where do you think where, you, you think you assume guts? I'm like no. Now, if you wanted guts in wrestling, I mean Daisuke Ikeda is the closest thing you got. He came out with the sword. He came out to tell me why from the OVA. What more do you need? <laughs> now that that will be a good karaoke bit for Rasta to try to sing that song. But your grass is on. Nothing will be long. I like how he made I... sure it was grasses. It's fucking Zach, you you jerk or something. I don't know. No, <laughs> no, it, it it's literally grasses in the song. Listen. Yeah, I know, but we all know it's supposed to be glasses, but because of you know English. I, I was I was I was doing the song properly, you asshead. And I'm still making fun of it. Don't worry. <laughs> Oh, right, before no. I leave to open a gate, here is what basically the internet Pammy summed up to. What is it? Alright, here we go, what he's got here. Tumblr is fat people acting like retards, that's accurate. 4chan is smart people acting like retards. I don't know about that, I think it's just... This basic, like, from what I've seen, 4chan is just a soapbox for people to say whatever they want to say, smart or dumb. But, the, I mean, like, that post about how tomboys are the ultimate straight man's answer, that one I think is the smartest thing I ever read. Uh, Reddit, retards acting like smart people. Yeah, that's accurate. Facebook, retards acting like retards. And boomers acting like boomers. Gotta add that. Instagram, retards Does someone acting say like tomboy? famous people. And this is very accurate. Famous people acting like retards for Twitter. <laughs> Again, did somebody say tomboys? Did somebody say tomboys? Yes, I did, Rasta. Oh, well. Oh, no, I was just mentioning how like, there was this post about how tomboys are the ultimate straight man's answer. You get a woman, but you don't have to deal with the gay shit women do. <laughs> how is that gay? Well, I mean, do you want to go shopping and all that stuff for clothes and whatnot? Tom, no, I don't have to a, worry I, about that. <laughs> That's I the have joke a of the I wanna, post. I want to have a masculine girlfriend. Yeah, you don't Rasta. have to deal with the gay shit. And it's a woman. Rasta, wait, Meanwhile, if you get a femboy, you have to deal wait. with a man and all of the gay shit women do. It's the ultimate gay choice. <laughs> That just makes no sense. I, it's it, it makes sense if you drink this uh, Drano that Pony gave me. Stop drinking the fucking Drano, you fuck. But it reminds me of St. Patrick's Day because my throat's burning when I drink it. <laughs> okay, I'll give it back. Let us take this other drink Pony gave me called Dumb Fuck Juice. <laughs> That? It's basically you drink it if you're a dumb fuck, which apparently I am today. <laughs> straight absent. 
Oh, wow. Got a down from a dragon screw. So far, Severin got downed once, Yamazaki two times. This is interesting. At the five minute mark. Well, actually, actually, there, 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 were, no, there were no down in Yamazaki. All his points were lost by rope escape. Okay, I'll count those anyway, because, you know, he lost points. Oh! Severin got a failed finish ball there. I wonder what it could have been, a German? We got three minutes left until the judges write down their wins, unless... Oh, yeah, Severin just has to maintain the lead for two and a half more minutes. And it's in the bag. Uh-oh. Got two minutes left. Yamazaki needs to do something in two minutes to make a draw, a knockout. You think that he can do it, anyone? Oh, that spear looked deadly. Got one minute to... He needs a knockout. Uh, it might not matter. Oh, yeah, a knockout. Dan Severin goes on to the semifinals. And if it... Hey, yo, by a German suplex. Oh, but it's a Severin suplex. So if I recall, that's one of Rasta's choices, right? I mean, po pony, pony, pony. Oh, an 83. People like that one. And, and he's and he's one of one of one of my uh, one of my my three three guys in this tournament. Two or less. Yeah. Gary Albright and Akira Maeda. This is going to be the. This is going to be an interesting bout here. Oh. Albright's the other. Oh God! They're doing. Oh, and Noah is doing the doing a show at Aria in R in uh in in Ariake, in an arena that can hold fifteen thousand fans. Dude, you haven't even drawn. You can't. You haven't drawn. What? You can barely draw now. Yeah. The only thing that can draw that much is a Mudo retirement show. You know what I mean? They might be hinting at a Mudo retirement show. Right? I would rather it just be a Mudo retires and is never seen again in wrestling. Or he just says, I have an heir to represent me in all my wrestling matches. Now and just out comes Skittles. His yeah. only words then, he says know, um, is his dead ass drops the mic and just walks away. Yeah. And also, uh, N1 is booked in mostly big buildings. Uh oh. Now, like, if it was for the final part of the tournament, that makes sense. But if you're gonna have, like, no, 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 that, that's, just, that, that's just not gonna be good in the long run, business wise. I don't, I just have a bad feeling about that. Well, either way, uh,. Maeda Albright. It sounds like everyone wants Albright to win. Yeah. Jm, who do you got? Uh, Maeda. All right, Roster, who do you got? Pony, who do you got? Damn it, Jm. Now you're just being contrarian because I picked Albright. Trying to remember, my oh no no, Albright says man. I remember now. So, if, if Albright wins, three of the four picks made it in the semifinals for Pony. Meanwhile, unfortunately for me, only one person that I have made it to the semifinals. If Gary Albright, if Gary Albright doesn't win, then Akira Maeda has a certain bald person in the suit coming his way. Oh, yeah. It's like all like do it's like a double-edged sword. Do you want Pony to have another win for his faction, or do you want Akira Maeda to ruin another tournament? Again with the MMA tag downs. Oh, One, two, three. you gotta be kidding me! I hate this already. It's not even two minutes in the match, and you're gonna call it shit. Yes. Oh my gosh. 
You sound like the guy who, when you first saw the Will Ferrell Land of the Lost movie, the first second Will Ferrell's on screen, you said it was shit. Then again, that movie was shit, so that was a bad example. Oh my god, are you easily gonna keep doing this? Oh, he just got back up. Oh, he... No, no. No, no, no point lost there. God, I hate this guy. God. Pony, why aren't you cheering for your favorite Gary Albright here? Pony is probably plotting backstage because two of his guys are gonna face each other again. Isn't that right, Pony? Yeah. What is that? What are you talking about? Takata, Tamara are two of your favorites. God, not uh, yeah. this again. Not this right. again. Albright, if he loses, that's going to look really bad. Uh-oh. Albright is not looking good now. My is out of power ball, so. Yeah, but he can still beat the shit out of this one. Oh back my god, I hate my This is Maeda. not good. Yeah, I am not liking what I'm seeing here. Maeda wow. is dominant in this tournament. He's like, UWF is my shit. Well, oh, fuck. Well, he has like, Dan Severn in the way now. Yep, and he's like, he's literally yelling, fuck you, Rasta. He just comes out you, and... Pony. Oh my gosh. Well, we're down to the semifinals. Nobuhiko Takada and Kiyoshi Tamara. I, I have, and Dan Severn. And, 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 and I gotta say this for the culture. Fuck you, Takada. Alright, and Dan Severn versus Akira Maeda. Two, oh. like basically, Pony is going to have one of his boys, his picks, go into the finals. Uh, I'm not, um, I only have Takada and Tamora left. Hold yep. On. One of Tamora, them gets eliminated on, Tamora, no matter what, while the other goes straight to the final. Oh, 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 hold on, I messed up. It's Tamora and Severn. Oh, okay. What about Takada? Was he one of your picks? Or No, it was no. Albright and Vader. No, it was Albright, Vader, Severn, and Tamora. Okay. So either way, one of them goes to the finals, but Severn... Wait a second... We almost had an all pony semifinals, but Akira Maeda ruined it for pony. No, 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 no. One of my guys was Vader. Oh. Oh, that's right. I forgot Takata. Dang it. I'm not doing good at this today. Again, while I did pick those four, I kind of expected either Takata or Maeda to make it to the finals. Or both. Oh, dear. They're basically the aces of the UWFs. What do you expect? Yes, but if Tamar and Maeda, it's a technically a rings match Shit. in the finals. Oh, what other way. tournaments are we doing anyway? Uh, we got several more. I know that uh, me and JM came up with an idea of like the indie independent junior tournament with like say Great Sasuke. Dragon Gate, stuff like that. MMA, and when Skittles comes back, we got a special tournament for him called the Junior and Juniors. Can we have a can we have a Shin a Shindy All Star tournament for, for only guys that come from shit indies? That's technically the indie juniors. Oh yeah, Wait that's a right. we have to do one specifically for the Noah and Zero One promotions. I'll I have... got, I got, I got an idea for one. What's that? The All Star Tag Team Tournament. Oh. That's I just found, I just found out why Sakata never vacated, never um, why Sakata vacated the Junior Belt. Why is that? He was he put, he was he promoted himself to the heavyweight division. Oh, uh, that's a good reason why. Like, that happened with Manakea Mossman in All Japan, for example. Yeah, but he never put anybody over. Well, of course not. But yeah, this is going to be a very good match. 
It should have went to Koge Watoi if if my if Sakata was going to do that. If Sakata was just going to go to the heavyweight, like eventually, he should have just never won the title at all. Oh yeah. So I take it for the Noah tournament, Rasta. You're going to be my expert to who goes in it. Well, I might, him. but I might not be there because I'm uh, I'm working on a video game. Okay, and also there's the World Japan one. Do we just make that a shit post one, or should we actually try to be serious for it? Nah, it's Will Japan. <laughs> Try to so we'll, we'll put like Kino Toro. and Akibono in it. <laughs> yes. Toro, if my stream, if my Twitch stream is still up, try to do that exact one. Oh, uh, Will Japan boy? Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll get to that in a moment. First things first, we gotta see Takata and Tamara actually doing a very good battle against each other. No points lost. What's up? Oh, I spoke too soon. But yeah, very balanced for the most part. The cops are trading on grapples more than strikes. Trying to weaken the other guy. Ooh, need a little takedown there. What do you think of that little takedown, JM? Only oh, stick to what works. Oh, he's to the ropes, but he didn't want to take that rope escape deduction. Ooh. Now, uh, Zach, would you say this is a grapple-tastic wrestling bout? Yeah. Is it the type of wrestling that Voodoo would like? Oh God! The, it's two. It's two people. The U.S. The the U.S. The West and do not like L going over. But then again, this is the Japanese game, so. Uh, I don't know. I like Tamara. No, I meant Takeda. Oh, okay. You know how nobody. You know how like none of the Westerns like Takeda because he's like a fake shoot guy. Oh yeah. yeah also, his IWGP heavyweight reign wasn't really, you know, good. Oh no! It was like one reign. It was it was, it was one it was, successful defense, and then loses it to Hashimoto. It's under the forgettable section. Probably was still a good match though. Oh, uh, the Hashimoto match was good. Yeah. The Koshinaka match I never seen. I'll just have to see what happened with it. Like watch it when I can. Three minutes left. Tamara needs to pull a miracle. And you realize that all that's failed because, well, first of all, every time, every time, every time, every time, time that um, it also it's kind of. Let's not forget that Ricky Choshu um, had beef with Lulu Albano, who was who was UWF affiliated at the time. Oh yeah, and also like they gave him the charge of the booking of the whole thing, so of course he was gonna make UWF look bad. Uh oh, forty seconds. That Tamara has to like do something in twenty seconds now. Nah, uh, that doesn't ace. Uh yeah, but Tamara was down here by, by the by points left over. Takada goes to the finals, but the question is. Will he face Dan Severin in a rematch from UWFI? Or will he face the original founder of UWF, Akira Maeda? To make Akira it... Maeda. Yeah, just... just... We're not even going to let that question. We're, you're going to spoil... My gosh, I hate to be in a movie theater with you, Ross. You're just going to spoil the ending at this rate. I never have a spoiled ending because I never have been to a I barely go to movie theaters. But you get my joke. Maybe. All right, Pony, what do you have to say about this Severn or Bust? Faith. I have faith in Severn. Jack, yeah, you have faith in Severn. Yeah. JM, do you have faith in Severn? No. <laughs> Preston, do you have faith in Severn? <laughs> if he manages to bust out one German, then I'll be okay. If Maida keeps busting everything, I'm suing. Oh dear. Oh right, so it sounds like everyone is saying, except Zack and Pony are saying 
Maeda. Alright. And here he comes out again to the NWA theme song. Galaxy Express, JM's favorite song. He dances to it everywhere he goes. Am I right or am I wrong? It's like a rematch. I don't know if it's a rematch, but I know that it's going to be just a rematch. Yeah, just to let you know, Takeda's final over champ um, title he held was the War Tag Team. Was the War Six-Man Tag Team with Takehiro and Yui Sano. Oh, that's uh, not much of a title to end on. They defeated. They um defended the. No, they they didn't even defend it. But their their um their first defense, they lost to Crusher, Bam Bam Bigelow, Fuyuki, and Yoji Anjo. Oh, that's uh. Oh yeah, you need... yeah. Oh, you gonna need to fix Stan Severn later. He doesn't come out to his gray shirt or wear it for that matter. Uh, it's... we'll we'll add it in post. He he came into Japan on the airport without any clothes on except for his trunks. Hey, yo, hey, yo, so Homicide is the NWA Junior Championship. How, how do you feel? Right now, that's, uh, that's something, I suppose. Yeah, most of the people in NWA, just it's just barely any newcomers, mostly old heads. Well, just, that's as, uh, maybe if uh, Billy Corgan didn't just go straight to Fight TV and get rid of all that YouTube stuff, people would care about the NWA. Yeah, YouTube right now sucks. But, but then again, when, but then again, when everything fails, just let Billy Corgan should know that he should just. That's literally every single time the NWA is in the emergency, just go back to Japan. That's literally. They have a bad. That's literally your unlimited backup emergency plan right there. What promotion will want to work with them at this point? What happened? Oh, like which promotion would work with NWA at this point? Either Wait. Zero One, New Japan, Noah, or I don't know. Be well, I definitely know Zero One would probably be a one-sided agreement. New Japan would not want to touch them, I believe. What happened? Well, I mean, the last time that they were had a partnership. Bruce Tharp was acting like a pretend was very pretentious going stuff like why is Rob Conway the NWA champion not in the main event well there's the thing it's Rob Conway he does he, he he's average he's just average yeah it's like like GM you remember that I'm and sorry. then, and, and, and to be kind of honest, none of the people, none of the people, you know, you have as your world champion aren't really. They don't really do that New Japan stuff. But I, just I mean, realized, like the only. Oh, sorry for interrupting. I just realized Severn currently has the point advantage over Maeda. I he bet Maeda better not knock him out. I swear to God. Oh, I'm like, man. yeah, definitely. But he no. just did a capture suplex, an arm bar, head scissor. Nope. A oh, bunch of kicks. No takedown yet. Oh, yep, there's a point. No, oh, I hate my Ada. Oh, oh, I spoke too God. soon. The I moment hate I Ada. say something about Severn, my Ada goes 0 to 100 and said, I'm going to ruin this kid's career. Jesus Christ, I care my Ada using the power of shoot start to ruin every tournament he's in. Okay. So, uh, Pony has no one in the finals. Which sucks. Then again, he did work with Maeda in the New Japan tournament, but I guess he just said fuck him after that tournament because he realized I am not going to financially recover from this. I and... didn't even, I did not even support Maeda. He just went to business for himself. All right, here we go. Okay, even, yes, to be kind of honest, even though, like, you know, Cardona and Trevor Murdoch have good reigns, they just aren't, well, they, they kind of are, like, but they're not really, you know, close to the stuff that Kenny Omega, Naido, Shibata, Okada is in Japan. They're, they're respectable, like, more of like a tag team, but main event, yeah, the Japanese don't really see it as that. Yeah, like, 
it's like when Trevor Murdoch was in Japan, he was like opening match guy with uh, Noah. Nick Aldis. Furthest he ever went was uh, GHC Tag Team Champion, I believe. With Samoa Joe as Magnus. Yep. If 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 New Japan wants to really, if NWA wants to really like be in like the main event scene with like a also another world champion, they would actually give the belt to somebody like who can work like Brian Cage. I'd like to see Brian Cage do some more Noah stuff, but uh, I get we have to get back to this match, unfortunately. Who do you guys I got, Maeda or Takata? I already know who Rasta Takata wants. Better. Takata better with Maeda, or else, or else this tournament is ruined. Maeda is like, Maeda is grinning right now. He is grinning, he is smiling, he's about to fuck up his old people, his traitorous pupil. <laughs> Pony, who do you got? I got Takata. Sack, who do you got? I, I got, for the only time in this tournament, I got my Ada, and I'm gonna enjoy this shit. <laughs> Sounds like everyone except Zach wants to see Takata win. My gosh, it, it's a UWFI crowd we got here. Takata is good, Takata is my friend, and stuff like that. Well, you get the thing. Like, for the most part, the majority of the crowd. Yeah. Wait, J wait, JM, you're for my Ada in this match, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Right. So is it a reluctant choice? <laughs> if it was anybody else, I would have been for Dakota. But this is my Ada. Maeda is not in a good mood. Was he ever in a good mood? Yes. When was that? When he's drinking. Was that why? Oh, no, when he's drinking and chilling in the club. When he's not kicking some bum in the street. Uh, well, already he's just punching ribs. Oh, no, nope, not a takedown there. Rope escape? Nope. Takata refuses to go for those ropes. He's going to try to make Maeda earn those points. Some reverses, some slaps, oh, more reverses, a little choke hold. No, no, not a choke, just a hug. But some more, this is uh, some blocked kicks, a failed takedown, more kicks, some blocks, a takedown, some kidney rib punches to get back up. They're opening the door, they're getting on the floor, and Takata is walking the dinosaur. I'm not doing good at this play-by-play -play commentary, Jay. Um, help me. <laughs> yeah, this is not going to end two well. Two homeless white men beating up each other over a bunch of meat. Hooray! Oh, my is down! My Boy, down! What? Down goes my down. down goes my He yeah. yeah. loses yeah. the point! Yeah. God damn! You yeah. lose this yeah. match, yeah. my yeah. Fuck yeah. you! Yeah. I hope you yeah. die! Yeah. I hope yeah. your wife yeah. cheats yeah. on yeah. you! He gets another oh, point, yeah! He oh, gets yeah. another yeah. point, yeah! Yes. Yes. That's no, right! No, you no, earned that, my You earned that, Takata! Keep it on! Lose my Takeda, go! Go, That's right! Make him waste those finish balls! Make him lose his balls! Make him blue balled and all that gay ass shit! Then Gary can't submit to you! Make you submit! You're the top! in this BDSM relationship right now. Go out there and win this match. Win! Don't let him kick you in the chin. Get back up. Don't, that's right. Don't make him get that takedown. Still no takedown point. The fucking ref is even against Maeda. That is amazing. I love this. He's got a single leg Boston Crab on him. He's got to split his arm off because he's going to go for an arm bar next. And he almost went for the arm bar. I can predict the future. My next prediction is Takata will win and make everyone happy. And a capture oh, suplex at... Oh, all you oh, want! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! No! 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 Play that back! Play that back! No! 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 That was the most bullshit finish I have ever seen. Jesus! My he Ada, had the ref in his pocket the entire time. That was just bullshit. Just how Maeda came out of nowhere and wins. Like he's getting his ass whooped, and all of a sudden, capture suplex. Maeda wins. LOL. What? What is this? 2009 WWE and Maeda's John Cena. 
John China. John Maeda. Fuck this. Fuck this Oh no. Rasta rage quitted. Akira Maeda wins another tournament. Okay, he is banned from tournaments. You win two, you're, you are officially retiring from tournaments. That is now official. If we Never. another tournament. No, 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 no. <laughs> there is one exception. What's uh -oh. that? The ultimate makeup tournament. I'm not going to put him in two times. Fuck that. <laughs> hey. Hey, it's just going to be eight 16 man tournaments. You get my joke, eh? How many tournaments are we going to do to get that many people? What do you think this is, Smash Brothers? Yes. <laughs> well, thank you I'm all. Have a good night. Brother.